human ability to perceive is far beyond just understanding the words. Right now I'm speaking, your ability to perceive is actually far beyond just the words that you hear. But because uh, the mind is trained right now, not only to hear and record, desperately trying to remember, note down, you know, some, some of you, the hands are itching. Something that you think is valuable has to be written down. <laughs> but human perception goes far beyond this. <clears throat> Recently I was in, you know, just four days ago, I was in discussion with uh, one of the top level environmental scientists in this country and uh, we were just talking about it. Across the dinner we were just discussing so many things. So he asked Sadhguru, what are the books that you read? I said, I read A. Strix and Dennis the Menace, that's my <laughs> reading. <laughs> I don't get to read anything because all the time I'm traveling, if I read a newspaper, that's a big deal. Then where do you get all the information? I said, I'm picking it off you. <laughs> you did all the study, why should I go through it again? I don't open all those books. You're sitting here and I'm picking all the things and I'm talking about it. But where do you get all the technical words? I said, don't you have it in your brain right now? I can pick it off you, whatever I want. I won't go about studying all that nonsense because anyway, the jargon doesn't mean anything to me. Because Human perception is way beyond that. That's why I'm going on telling you, just be with me, just be with me. If you can simply be with me, your ability to perceive this is far more than writing down every word of what is said. If you have all these words, you still won't know anything. Actually, shall I tell you the secret? Buy yourself an Oxford dictionary. Everything that I say is already there. <laughs> No? You just have to arrange it. <laughs> it doesn't get you anywhere that way. So to enhance perception is very important because only what you perceive you know. Rest is all stories and imagination, isn't it? What you perceive and you experientially know, that's all you know. Rest are just empty stories. It doesn't matter how great the story is, it is still an empty story which won't make a difference in your life. If it has to make a difference in your life, it must… there must be an experiential dimension to it. That will happen only if you perceive. You heard of Vivekananda? Hmm? He's the first yogi who came to this country in 1893 and made a little bit of waves in those days. So he also went to Europe on his way back from United States and happened to be a guest of a German philosopher. And after dinner they met in the study and there was… Uh, they were discussing this and that and uh, there was a large book on his table which was over seven hundred pages. So Vivekananda said, uh, because the man was speaking very highly about the book, he said, can you give me that book for an hour? Let me see what is there in it. That man laughed. He said, in one hour you're going to read this book? I have been reading it for weeks and not getting anywhere because it's so complex. And that too it's in German language. You don't even know the language. What will you do with it in an hour? Vivekananda said, you give it to me for an hour, let me see. So the book was given to him. He took the book and placed it between his two hands and just sat there with his eyes closed. After one hour, he took the book and gave it to him and said, this doesn't have anything significant in it. <laughs> that man thought, this is the peak of arrogance. You don't even open the book and you make a comment about the book, a book which is in a language that you do not know. So he, f he was a little put off by this and he says, what is this nonsense? Vivekananda said, you ask me anything about the book, I'll tell you. Okay, in page 633, what is there? Verbatim, Vivekananda repeats. You ask any page, just num number the page, he will tell you what is there word by word on every page. 
Then he asked, how is this? You didn't even open the book, how is this possible? He said, that's why they call me Vivekananda. <laughs> Viveka means perception. His name is Narendra. His guru called him Vivekananda because of his ability to perceive. So he said, that's why I am called Vivekananda. So perception of life is not… you cannot all process it through your logical mind. It doesn't work like that because logic will filter out so much of your life without which you cannot live. <laughs>